Hi folks, nice to on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, last video, a lot of you asked me about my Gear S watch. Some people didn't know what it was. This is the flexible watch from Samsung and I love it. I've used Moto X LG G Watch or Moto X 360, Moto 360 watch, uh, LG G Watch, the Samsung Gear. And then I bought this when I was in Korea and I love it. The display is awesome. I mean, it, you can see it, it's curved. It's better than any of those watches out there. And I actually kind of like this curved design over the circle. A lot of people like the circle. Well, my Moto 360 broke on me. Uh, so that kind of says a lot about their build quality. And Motorola is being bought out by Lenovo, uh, which means that uh, now it's not really Motorola. It's not really made in America. It's owned by a uh, Chinese company. I mean, I have nothing against that. Just I'm just saying. Is not really made in America. Is anything made in America anymore? So it really doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, you know, buying Motorola no longer really means you're buying American products. But if you buy my T-shirt, it's made in America. It's made by American Apparel. Uh, anyway, I want to give you a review today. Sorry, I got lost there. Uh, of the Note 4 uh, ROM. Um, so, Verizon Jasmine ROM. I got uh, 41,077 on Antutu. Uh, last time I reviewed it, that was like three or four months ago. And this ROM was great. It has it had one of the first S5 features, such as the ultra power saving mode, download mode, uh, download booster mode, working out of the box. The only problem with this ROM was that the battery life sucked. And uh, the developer has fixed it. The latest version 2.4.4 I'm running here. It's flawless, it's so fast. So let's go take a look. Let's go do this baby. All right guys, so I've got the Jasmine ROM version 2.4.4 here. And let me go ahead and show you the settings about page real quick. Here we go. And you get the nice S5 UI there. And I went over this before, but for those of you who haven't seen it yet, um, definitely uh, we'll go over it again. This ROM and HyperDrive, probably my two favorite ROMs for this phone. I'm still using the Verizon Note 3, you know why? Because of the unlimited grandfather service. Otherwise, I would cut Verizon out. Uh, but they still have pretty good service. I mean, they get good coverage, so it's good to have at least one line. I need at least one line here. 2.4.4, Android 4.4.2 KitKat. But this thing runs super fast. And let me go ahead and show you uh, my N22 benchmark I just did here. Uh, 41,077. So, I think the stock KitKat gets about about 35, 36,000. Um, so 41,000. That's that's a ton of. That's almost like 15 uh, percent improvement, or is it like 15, 20 percent? Um, so very nice stuff. And also, let me go ahead and show you the multi quad window. Um, you can also use multiple windows uh, with the same internet. So you can do multiple instances of the stock browser. And there you go. All right, for ultra power saving mode, uh, this ROM is also cool. It has an ultra power saving mode manager, which allows you to add more apps, whereas ultra power saving mode doesn't support all of these apps. So we're going to go ahead and add some of these. But let me go ahead and turn on ultra power saving mode real quick here. Go into settings. Uh, where is ultra power saving? There we go. Power saving mode. Go ahead and turn on ultra power saving mode. Hit OK and you'll be able to get 11.5 days. That's awesome. So that's probably one of the reasons to install this ROM. I mean, you know, some of you carry extra batteries or you carry one of those lemon juice things and you don't need this, but you know, it's good to have it. I don't, I don't use it much, but I think it's useful if you ever end up in, in an alleyway in a ghetto and you know, you're maybe uh, you don't have a gun with you or something. All right, ultra power saving mode. You can go ahead and add all those apps we just added. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Gmail. Normally you can only use a certain app, certain number of apps, but this is really cool. Um, so I can go ahead and open Gmail uh, in black and white, and I can get 11.5 days. That's awesome. It actually works. I've actually left it for almost a month, and I still have battery left over. Of course, I didn't use the phone, but still, even if I use the phone, you can you can really go for like three, four, five days easy with the ultra power saving mode. But this is even better than stock Note 4 uh, S5 because you can add all of your favorite apps. That's freaking awesome. 
Uh, some of the other notable features include native call recording. So this is great if you're like FBI or you can go ahead and record calls. All right, and if you don't want to write something down, just go ahead and record. And also unlock Wi-Fi hotspot, of course. Some of you, this is the, probably the reason why you actually unroot your phone, or I mean root your phone. There is tether in more networks and go to mobile hotspot, there you go. Turn it on and it will work out of the box. All right, so next one that I want to show you is the Android a 5.0 keyboard. You can get it with this one, very nice. Uh, now it doesn't come with it out of the box. I mean, it does come with it, but you have to actually change the keyboard. So here's what you gotta do. Uh, go into language and input, change this to Google keyboard, and this won't give you the material theme. theme. It'll just give you uh, the crap theme. Uh, so go ahead and go to advanced settings, change the color scheme to material. All right, if you don't do that, it's gonna look like an old ICS or KitKat keyboard. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Other than that, there is a bunch of a YouTube ad way. Don't use that, otherwise it hurts YouTubers like me. Uh, also, you can get a bunch of exposed modules. You know, if you use Play Store fixes, you'll be able to download apps that are not designed for this phone, like, you know, and also expose gel settings if you use Google Now Launcher. Root Cloak, you can hide uh, apps from uh, Root. A bunch of more stuff. You have to go to Framework, uh, install update, reboot, and also actually install update, hit the ones that you want to enable, reboot, and then you'll be able to use it. Uh, if you have trouble, just Google it. There's a bunch of tutorials out online, but I just want to show you that. Jasmine ROM is better than ever. This is probably what I would run if you want the latest S5 features. Give the latest Jasmine ROM a go, and do let me know what you think. And I'll have more ROMs for other Note 3s real soon. And thanks for watching this video. If you have a Verizon Note 3, definitely check this out. And uh, sadly, Verizon has locked the bootloaders. You can't install like CM12 ROMs. But it's okay, we have good ROMs like this. And this is the last phone I bought on Verizon, as many of you know. After that, I boycott it. And I'm not gonna buy any more Verizon products until they unlock my bootloaders that I paid for. And also, uh, I had like almost five lines last year and I start cutting. Now I just have one line on Verizon, which has Grandfather Unlimited, so I wanna keep that. But I cut all the other lines and the Verizon rep called me the other day, he's like, Oh, why did you cut our service? We'll do our best. Well, unlock my bootloaders and I'll buy Verizon again. But for right now, I've cut them down to one line from five lines. Um, and I move everything to everyone else, T-Mobile mostly. I have like two lines, three lines on AT&T now, uh, two lines on Sprint, which I'm going to also cut down to one probably. Anyway, getting too long, I will see you guys soon. Uh, I have the Gear S review tomorrow, which I'm in the process of making. I'm making this HDR video. It's taking forever on my computer. Uh, and also, I've reopened my other channel, which is the youtube.com slash high on Android. Um, I reopened it for my all my unedited videos and stuff. Sort of, you know, because I don't want to flood my channel with a bunch of stuff. And, you know, people get annoyed if I upload too much stuff. And I like uploading too much stuff. So I decided to reopen that channel. And I'm going to upload all my extra stuff, all the stuff that uh, I want you to see, but I didn't really have the time to edit or maybe I was too busy. Um, so I made that channel. So check that out, subscribe to there, and I'll just kind of cross links so you, you'll eventually end up there somehow. Uh, and as always, uh, stay 